Hey guys, welcome to Survival Radio Live Remote. We are out here at Bledsoe's Barbecue, getting it down 323 Walker Street, Atlanta, Georgia. 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 <laughs> I don't know the zip, so I'm just going to keep that. <laughs> and he told me to say this, you know, hashtag SRN Live, hashtag showing local love at Bledsoe's. I don't know if that's a hashtag or what that is. <laughs> and also hashtag we do radio. If you guys could do that. Hey, we got Stacy J in the house. Stacy J don't walk in. You know we're in a hot place when Stacy J is roaming about. 60649. What, what, what? Hey, but on a serious note, <laughs> you know I got my boy here, Mr. All-American football player, 6'7", 235 pounds of basketball greatness, the radio personality of the world, Mr. Michael McFadden. Boy, Welcome if aboard, I was 6'7", I wouldn't be talking to you right now. I have a game tonight somewhere. No, you you, you would be coaching because your, your career <laughs> oh, yeah, would be I over. Yeah, I 45 this year. Yeah, you're right. You're right. My bad. Yeah. Sometimes I forget. You, you, you and Kenny would be on the sidelines <laughs> talking about how good y'all used to how be. How we used to be, yeah, right? You yeah. remember when? You remember when, yeah. man? Yeah. Hey, man, it's always good, man, to have you come out and hang out with your boy, man. Um, as I, as I like to brag, man, I learned it all from you. Oh, awesome. Because that make me look good. That's yeah. why I tell people that. <laughs> yeah, it's really nothing else other than that. But welcome aboard, man. How you Thanks. like blood sauce so far? Oh, it's nice, man. I had uh, I've already had the mac and cheese. Mm. That's the first thing I had to Is test. Is that what out. you had in the little thing? Yeah, in the little cup. Okay. I had me a you tester. mac and cheese. What's wrong with you, man? I did, okay, I just mind. had to test it out. That's the first thing you test You're out. Right. And then I just had some of that plate that y'all got over there. The, the, the very sample. same that Stacey J is eating. Yeah, six oh six oh nine. You know uh, that she's eating over there. Then I had that chicken sausage. Oh, chicken sausage yeah. Good. So See, I can't hopefully, eat sausage, but I heard it's good. We will hurry this up before Stacey J okay. devours. But you know what's really cool? The plate. What's really cool is Stacey don't mind eating. That's what I always love about me some Stacey J. She don't. I She'll see. get it in. So y'all said food for the VIP. She was the first one upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> so man, I understand you and I got something coming up. Yeah, looking forward to it. Hey, uh, back again. Back again. Finally, man. Like it took us forever. I think this will be our third installment of Why Not Now. Yeah, what well, we were on, like a two-year hiatus or something. <laughs> Has it been two years? It was funny because in the, uh, all of our uh, past photos, they start popping up. Yeah. Like this is the time, yeah. as a matter of fact. Because I see some of the uh, photos that Silas posted with mm -hmm. you, myself, and Tammy uh, from Why Not Now when we did that at the Tammy green v. room. Yeah, yep. uh, that we did down at the green room. So, yeah, it's time, man. We, I, I guess, like, we were continuing to work and do our thing and time get past you. But yeah. I think that when we did our first Why Not Now, man, we had something special. So what better time to bring it back? We did, man. Uh, so many people turned out. And it was cool just talking about the future and how people can take little nuggets, yes. man. Yes. and change their lives with that. And I love the the perspective that we did it, which is, you know, stop talking about it and just do it. Yeah, something, you know, something that hit me last night, um, I, I thought about people People give, and, and this is no shot to any celebrity out there, but, right. you no, know, I thought Oprah Winfrey's name out there. She can come to Atlanta and do a seminar and get two, $300 a head. Easy. Easily for people to come out to hear Oprah's secret. But the mm -hmm. secret is, you'll never become Oprah Winfrey. That's the part that she's telling you. What we do at Why Not Now, it. when you look at myself and Clark, the yeah. the the, uh, the journey that we've been on for the past, seems like six years now, yeah. the information that you're giving us, you can take the steps that you and I have taken to get to this level. You know what I'm saying? And it's not that simple. And I think sometimes we, you know, some people just don't understand it or grasp the concept. So. You know, come out to a why not now that you and I put together. And these are things that you can do right now. Yeah, not not five years not down five the road right. when you get your mind right. Exactly. When you, you get some right more now. money. Right, when you get some more money. Right. All When I lose some weight. <laughs> when I lose all weight. All the stuff that people get. Yeah. When I get a new job or all that kind of stuff. And one thing we love to talk about is what if that never happens? Ooh. What if I never get another job? What if I don't lose the weight? What if I don't get the money? Then guess yeah. what? You'll never start it. And that's the thing. Like, so, yeah, well, why not now, man? It's just one of those opportunities for, for regular people to take small concepts and ideas like you and I had back in 2009 and begin to build on it. I got to give some love to Tammy Vaughn, uh, yes. Nordheim, yes. a.k.a. Tammy Mack. But, you know, really just because she, she really uh, does a wonderful job setting us up. Yeah. You know, and also bringing some insight 
from a woman's perspective right. in, on the venue. Yep. And she has a she has a story of herself, you yeah. know what I'm saying, as, wow. a, as a working yeah. actress here in Atlanta and then all of the other stuff that she does outside the that. Thousands the, the of thousands stuff. Thousands of things she do. Her girl in the glass. Yep. And, photography. Uh, now her photography. So it's, it's information from three people that, you know, brains, beauty, and hustle. That's mm. what I like to call. I wonder who's who. You're the brains, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> oh, smart self. Fam, you graduate oh, yeah. in the house, Rattler, right? Rattlers. But um, but yeah, man, it's just nuggets of information that you can get that you can use today. Uh, if it if we could do it free, we could, but we got to pay for the spot. So that's why we asked for your ten dollar donation. Well, you know, and it's only ten bucks. And uh, and by the way, portions of the proceeds this year are going to go to uh, Girl in the Glass, yes. which is Stan Bond's uh, platform. And we're looking forward to contributing to that because. Certainly, women's empowerment and the way that she comes at it is important. Yes, and she's she's beautiful too. So she's the beauty. Yeah, she, of the bunch. she's um easy on eyes. Very easy. Did you see that movie? Well, I ain't gonna talk yeah, about that movie. Yeah, that's a whole another segment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, you know what, Claude? Let me say this. I'm yeah. proud of you, man. Like to see you grow as a personality and to see the brand of SRN grow, man. Like every day. Like when I saw when I saw the the campaign started for this uh, for your live remote. Uh, I said, I got to be there. And I was a little hurt, Clark, that I wasn't on the invitee list. No, so, no, no. Let me explain. Nah, no, 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 no. Too late. Listen. Too late. This is the only reason why you weren't, right? So it I really wasn't invited. So I just crashed no, the party. No, no. Check this out. I'm always asking you to come out to my events. And I was like, I can't just ask her to come to everything I do. Because you always support SRN and you have from the beginning. So I was trying to give you a break, okay? Because I knew I was going to be asking you something later on in the month. Well, let me look at the lineup sheet okay, and see if my ahead. name was wrote in with a pencil. <laughs> yes. No, you're not. I you're was... unique. <laughs> <laughs> you're unique. And we got a star next to it. <laughs> and limo service. The limo came and picked you up. Yes, it did. Right? The Uber car. Right. It was a to Toyota Tercel, eighty-four model. Nice. Nice. And he had no gas. Sweet. <laughs> you had to chip in on gas yes, for the I Uber? Did. And we had to change the tire. Look at my nails. <laughs> <laughs> I love Uber, man. man. Heads off to the Uber people out there. I wish you, you know, we need to get Uber for a sponsor since we just mentioned them about. Yeah, three my or four bad. Times. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, Sorry you know, about no that. Free, no free stuff. <laughs> um, brought to you by, uh, I don't know who our sponsors are. Now I'll figure it out. They just left. <laughs> they did, right. Wherever they were, right? <laughs> They're gone. Temperature design, <laughs> heating and air. All right, so uh, let's talk a little bit about why, why, uh, what, why not now? Why not now? Wow, I almost passed out. Now, each one of us is going to be talking about our individual platforms, and then we're going to have a question and answer period. But we do it in a way that's not typical, right? right. So, and, and I love your presentation, but talk to us a little bit about your book and some, just maybe a couple principles that you're going to be talking about. Um, so when you come out and hang out with us at Why Not Now. Um, one of my favorite presentations to do is based off the book Truisms, The Next Level, Can It Be That Simple? It is. And my whole concept behind the book, because I'm not I'm not one of those guys that, you know, excelled in high school. You know, I barely graduated from high school, never went to college a day in my life. Um, I was a military kid that jumped into the corporate America mm. field. And I realized that life really isn't all about the knowledge mm, that you have true. or got from a, a university or college institution. It, it's about the hustle that you have and the drive that you have. Like one of my favorite principles in the book Truisms is self-motivation. Like without self-motivation, what, what motivates you to do what it is that you do? You know what I'm saying? Is it because your supervisor tells you, hey, you have to be here at nine o'clock or you got to <laughs> take your lunch break from this or you got to hit your quota. You got to do that. You got to have something inside you that motivates you. And the one thing that I teach and, and talk about is stop waiting for something to affect your life, to push that button inside of you. Stop waiting for the doctor to tell you that you have high blood pressure before you start eating better. Stop crazy? waiting to have a BMI test to tell you that you overweight, mm. that you need to change your life. Or stop waiting for, for someone to tell you you got diabetes before you change your diet lifestyle. Stop waiting for that stuff. You already know. It's just like we we just wait for stuff. We know it's to coming, happen. right? We know it's coming. We we wait for stuff that we wait for the 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 gas bill to come to the house and say past due and don't have a date on it. You know you behind when your 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 gas bill don't say you, due on. You know you get a certain inner feeling when your bills are late, right? Yes, you, you do. Kind of know it's coming. Yep, yeah, you already yeah, know, yeah. and that, that's how we are in life, man. 
truisms, man, is something that is so obvious or self-evident that you don't think about it. And Vince Lombardi had one of the greatest sayings of all time. A reporter asked him, you know, you guys got you got so many multi-talented players on your team, but you run such a simple set of plays. Your plays are so, so simple. Why do you do that? And his answer, Clark, was it's hard to be aggressive when you're confused. Mm. And, man, about taking that and just put it in my personal life because a lot of times we confuse stuff in our life. All you know, time, yeah. All the time yeah. we make it too complicated. Let's simplify it. Simplify it. Did I say that right? Close. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that this, word. Yeah, that word right there. But. When we do that, man, it makes it fun. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and it brings out the best in you. So stop living a complicated life. Come hang out with us at Why Not Now, and you'll learn some of our simple plays. Man, you make it sound so easy. Can it really be that easy? No, I really can, but don't get me mistaken. It takes work. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to put the work in. You're not going to be able to build a billion-dollar empire by working 40 hours a week. That's not mm. going to happen. You can build somebody else's mm. billion-dollar empire by working 40 a Watch week. Out. When you look to build your own, no, it's going to take some work uh, and, and effort to grow what it is that you're looking to do. But, yes, you can. it can be simple. Man, I'm looking forward to it because I'm going to be talking about something a little different than I did last okay, time. Okay, cool. I'm actually going to talk about metaphysical principles and how to apply those to day-to-day -day writing. Put that but, word again? Well, well, that's the point. Nah. When you hear that, people start spazzing out thinking you're talking about something complicated, right? right? And it really is a simple notion that, that goes back to the beginning of time where people didn't have all the modern technology we had, but they still applied it. Right. So if you can apply it 5,000 years ago with rocks, right, 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 dirt and rocks and fire, why can't we do it now? And I think part of the reason why we don't is because the technology has dumbed us down. Oh. Right? It is uh, basically, we, as the movie The Matrix and uh, Terminator really depicted is that you know, we are so beholden to technology yes. and machines yes. that we, at some point, at least from a mental point of view, are going to be controlled by them. Oh, yeah. I mean, we kind of are now, we right? We are now, yeah. If you don't, if your phone ain't by you, you start doing like, where's the phone? And, that, you know, it's the first thing you pick up when you wake up. So in a way, we are conditioned by that. What I'm going to talk about is kind of uh, back home principles, old school principles, ideologies, concepts that take you out of that realm. Gotcha. And we call them metaphysical, but all metaphysical is above the physical. Gotcha. Meta just means above, so it means thinking above, outside of the mind. So yes. that means you're going to bring back uh, Britannical Encyclopedia. Yes. Yes. What you know about Britannica? <laughs> hey, come on. L through N was always missing in my house, and I always got Napoleon to do. <laughs> <laughs> so I was done. <laughs> Dude, can you imagine what our kids would do? If they had to do cycle encyclopedia and Dewey Decimal System, it would not be a good look. Go to the library, look in the card file catalog, and, and try book. to find the book. One seventy three point zero forty nine. <laughs> like, where do I start? <laughs> that is a question. But it's just oh. to change the times. I was telling the young man the other day. He has two little boys, and I was telling him, you know, he was talking about discipline because my son was on his way to Panama City this weekend for spring break, mm -hmm. and um. You know, the, the one thing that we teach our son, that I teach my son, is that, you know, those little stupid things that you do, the little stupid mistakes that you make, they turn out to be big things. True. And one thing that I've learned that, that I, I've learned over the years not to tell my son is that when I was your age, we did this or my mother did that. Because when I was that age, I used to hate when my mother used to tell me that. The first thing I think, well, that was when they were young. Yeah. So now, 80 years ago. 80 right? years yeah, ago, exactly. So right. now, all of a sudden, in 2015, the message has changed now. You know True. what I'm saying? I still give my son this, you know, the values and, and discipline and all that kind of stuff. But I kind of reframe because he's not accustomed to that. You know, oh, when I was when I was your age, we used to walk to school three miles. He would look at me like I was stupid, like, oh dad, who would do that now? Right. So you right. have to kind of adjust the message. Yeah. To, to today because that's Absolutely. how they're using it you know Absolutely. what i'm saying and that's what we do at why not now is we're adjusting that message today to today's time and it's going down physically yeah thank you it's going down april 26th yep. at uh apex museum yes in I'm the heart of old school atlanta right off of auburn ave guys come on out uh and mike's going to give you where you can get your tickets again ten dollars portions of proceeds will go in girl in the glass so it will be a beneficial event 
all the way around. Where is it going to? How can we get tickets, Mike? You go to eventbrite.com, and all you got to do is search Why Not Now. Why Not Now? It's going to pop up right there. It's our 2015 event. Tickets are only $10. Only $10. Um, and, and like I said, we're going to have a great lineup. Myself, Clark Garrison. April 26th. Tammy, uh, Tammy Vaughn Tammy Nordheim. Vaughn. Uh, hosted by Tammy, and we're gonna have some special guests. I think Apex. we got some, some food and stuff like that. Chips. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> Chips. Orange drink. <laughs> Colored sodas. In a gallon <laughs> from Winn Dixie. Kroger water, or not super supermarket water. <laughs> Faucet water. As a matter of fact, Apex got that old school whites and colored water fountain in there. And the thing about it, you could use oh. either one. You like, know what, man? Every time I get with you, I lose <laughs> track, and you just have me on some tangents, man. We got to get out of here, Mike. That's cool with me. Hey, I appreciate you. Come on, always, that banana pudding, man. I know, right? Yeah, yeah I've okay. got to have some. Hey, Survival Radio Network, Blood Souls, yeah. live, remote. Hey, give us one more time, man. Give us the signature. Hold on. Tony and Griff show, Michael McFadden, Monday through Friday, uh, 7 a.m. to 9 a.m., TGSMM.com. And, of course, I'm still doing real talk with Michael McFadden. People don't think I do my night show. Of course, that's my baby. Six years Been strong, doing baby. Six years since 2009. 7,000 episodes. No, it's only four, four and some change. Yeah, 400 something. Uh, T, uh, T, uh, I already said, uh, MichaelMcFadden.com every Monday night, Wednesday night from 8 to 10. Real talk. You yeah. drop the mic. <laughs>